We are in the office with Dr. Donald R. Nunn with the Beauty of Knowledge here in Atlanta, Georgia. Dr. Nunn, I thought we would do some questions today on facelifts. Um, we have a lot of patients who come in and want to know uh, several questions about facelifts, and if we could get those answered for some people before they go into a consult, that would be great. Um, do it. What is a facelift? A facelift is basically a, uh, a rejuvenation of the of the facial tissues to give more of a youthful look and to refresh look. Uh, it's, it usually involves tightening the skin and the underlying areas. It specifically focuses on the neck, the mandibular jowls, and the uh, cheek regions. But also upper facelift gets the, uh, the brow and a lot of times these procedures combine with other re uh, uh, rejuvenation procedures such as a blepharoplasty. Okay. What facelift procedure do you use? Generally, I like the new MAC. It's Minimal Access Cranial Suspension Facelift, where uh, you don't have to uh, undermine as much skin. It tends to be a quicker recovery, less complications, less chance of bleeding. And then we use some uh, resorbable uh, barbed sutures, which uh, help uh, lift the underlying uh, muscle uh, fascia layer and the muscles in the neck and uh, I find this procedure to be very useful with a, a, a fairly quick uh, a recovery for most patients. Okay. Um, when I have a facelift are all my wrinkles going to be gone? No, there's no procedure to get rid of every wrinkle. Sometimes you have to do other ancillary procedures either with or secondary. A lot of times when I do a facelift, I inject fat in some of the deepest uh, wrinkles on the face in the nasolabial folds and around the mouth, as well as in the lips and the, in the cheek region. But sometimes patients either need some resurfacing with dermabrasion, which can be done around the mouth at the time of surgery, or secondary chemical pills or laser treatments. Okay, what is my recovery time for a facelift? Most patients, I tell most patients, they're gonna look fairly good within three to four weeks. A facelift it looks good at a month, it looks even better at six months, and continues to improve up to a year. And uh, most patients feel fairly comfortable about going out in public and, and uh, seeing their friends uh, within three to four weeks. Okay. How long do I, after surgery do I have to wait to exercise? I generally tell patients they can start walking immediately after surgery, but strenuous exercise I would, I would give probably uh, uh, two to three, uh, well, probably more like three to four weeks. Okay. Depends on the patient's uh, surgery and, and the extent of the surgery. Okay. Is that the same for being in the sun or? Well, no. I tell patients that they need to be out of the sun uh, or use sun protection for several months after a facelift because that can affect the color of the scars and wound healing. So they need to cover with makeup that has sunscreen or sunscreen itself or use a hat. Uh, that covers up their uh, face during uh, uh, direct sun exposure. Okay. So how long before I go back to work? Most patients feel pretty good about things uh, at, again, three to four weeks. Most patients feel like that they can uh, uh, go back. Now, I've had patients go back within one week, but they're not healed. It all depends on uh, what type of work it is. If they're working at home, they can go back to work the next week, but if they're working in public, sometimes they feel a little self-conscious because they're still swollen and bruised. Some recover as quick as two month weeks, but I tell patients to, uh, when I see them that, you know, the average is three to four weeks before most patients would uh, feel very comfortable with their look. Okay. Um, how long until I can wash my face, use face lotion, and put on makeup? I tell patients they can wash their face the day is after surgery and, uh, and then use uh, lotions, but I don't want anything directly on the wounds for at least two to three weeks when the wounds are completely healed. So no makeup on the wounds itself. They can put makeup to help camouflage the areas where there's no incisions uh, within the following uh, week. Okay. Um, what are the risks and complications involved? The main risk with facelifts are, are uh, bleeding. I mean, you don't have large vessels, but you can have uh, small bleeding under the skin. So there we have to be careful patients who have high blood pressure and uh, things like that. We want it well controlled. We don't want them on any aspirin or any herbal uh, supplements that can cause uh, bleeding. The other thing is uh, facial nerve injury. That is uh, very rare. It's less than probably 1% if you look at all comers for facelift. 
And if it does occur, usually it's a temporary thing uh, that uh, involves like uh, some weakness of their lower lip and uh, maybe possibly around the eyes. Uh, why do I need to stay overnight after my surgery if I have someone to take care of me at home? Well, I tell patients the reason I like to keep them overnight is the is the, the, the control of their blood pressure and discomfort uh, because usually if you're going to have any bleeding after facelift, you have it within the first uh, 12 to, to uh, uh, 24 hours. But I think the first 12 is the critical and the overnight stay with the nurse and uh, keep the patient comfortable and is probably the best way to prevent a hematoma. How long should I expect the bruising? Uh, again, the bruising usually is gone within uh, two to three weeks, the majority of it. Okay. When will you remove the stitches and do you use any stitches that dissolve on their own? Yes, uh, I, there are skin stitches that need to be removed. I usually like to take those out at seven to eight days. Uh, the Remaining sutures are resorbable for their deep sutures, and they last up to uh, six months. But and that reason we put those long-lasting sutures, uh, the uh, tissues have healed in their new position, and you're less likely to have a relapse for those. But those do not have to be removed. Okay. How long uh, can I expect my uh, results to last? Well, it depends on your genetics, your skin type, your uh, sun exposure and a lot of other factors, but the, the average uh, longevity of a facelift is uh, probably 10 years. I tell patients that's a good uh, rule of thumb. Uh, again, uh, some people only need one facelift in their life and uh, other patients may require a, a, a couple, but it again just depends on uh, the uh, patient's genetics and other factors. But usually if you do a secondary facelift, you you don't have to be as aggressive as the first one because uh, that skin does not stretch uh, out as much as it did the first time and sometimes it can be a, a less uh, involved procedure to just tweak the original facelift. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for answering my questions. You can go to www.drnunn.com and find out more about Dr. Nunn and his procedures and you can also schedule a consult as well at 404-255-2975. Thank you.